Hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive at Cayman Bus again. Today we've got a uh, uh, Cayman here, 987 Mark II. Cayman that we're actually working on. So if you look here, inside here, the intake manifold is full of oil. If you look down here, that's oil from the intake manifold as well. Um, the actual uh, oil vapor separator for this car here was pressurizing. Um, causing the actual um, oil to leak into the actual um, intake manifold as you can see here and the leak from the actual seals causing the rubber middle seal to actually swell swell up and actually cause the oil to come out like that so we're gonna clean all that before we put the intake manifold on but look at this inside here it's full of oil as well which goes the MS meter to the MS meter there sometimes this happened in the future this MS meter will get faulty become faulty because oil is going through the actual filament of the MS meter causing it to have a problem um, you can wash you can clean it you can do a lot of stuff to it but when they go they go anyway just want to show that so that's all done so we're going to actually replace the actual uh, we're going to take the belt off now it's off so we're taking it off now we have replaced the actual oil vapor separator, which is this guy here. That's all done. And I'm going to show you, we're going to replace the tensioner. If you have one of the 997, replace the bolt. They have a, a problem with the actual bolt snapping. 997 and 987, especially this bolt here. They usually break off. I've done three so far this year, so I'm not going to risk it for this customer so we're going to replace the whole tensioner the tensioner looks old we're going to get a new pulley for this one this one here as well but just want to show you the alternator it's it's got a uh, high pitch you hear that it's hard to actually you can hear that when this is spun very quickly you can hear a really really high pitch noise from this alternator here it's the actual bearing inside this is not a uh, this is a clutchless one this doesn't have a clutch just a normal one anyway so that's all done, that's all out. So now we're gonna replace the, we're gonna clean the intake manifold now. And after that, we're gonna actually uh, put everything back together. And then we'll go from there. And then we're gonna change the bottle, and a few other things we gotta do. All right, thanks for watching and please subscribe.